So these are the Heinkel 111s, and both of them have a very funny bomb load. This is a Heinkel 111816. It has a 2500 kilogram bomb with, well, look at that kill radius. Then we also have the Heinkel 111186. Instead of having a 2500 kilogram bomb, this instead has a guided bomb. Yes, you heard me right, a guided bomb. It's niche, to say the least. So, let's jump right in and see how we do. That's a uh, T-34. Bummer. Ah, uh, this is not good. This is fine. Who needs a turret drive? Turret drives are just overrated, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if I misclicked and actually accidentally dropped my bomb. I won't be able to drop my bomb. I won't get enough content and then I'll fall off. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. That was a terrible bomb. Only two? Nah, come on. That was a terrible bomb drop on my part though. There it goes. Wonder how many that will get. Only two. Okay. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> go away. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? <laughs> he fused with the ground. Got a bomb, let's go. Who's shooting me? Oh, there's another plane. My god, where did all the trees go? I like removed most of the trees. Looks so weird. Oh, they're already on me. Look at that drift. Oh, I thought that was one of those, uh, Uh, why have I lost connection? Uh, I'm sorry. Well, in the meantime, while we've got crew lock, why don't we talk a bit about the Fritz X. The Fritz X was one of the earliest examples of precision guided munching developed by the Germans during World War II. The Fritz X was also designed and developed by the German company Rustel, starting in the late 1930s under the guidance of engineer Max Kramer. The Fritz X was an armor-piercing bomb that used a radio guidance system. It was also famously used to sink the Italian battleship Roma on the 9th of September 1943, after Italy had signed an armistice with the Allies. By late 1943, Allied forces had developed electronic countermeasures to jam the radio signals guiding the Fritz X. I'd imagine there'd be a few other people going along this way. And why wouldn't you go here? It's a great flank. I also don't want to be too open to them over here. Uh, what? That's better. Does he see me? Apparently not. Oh, I've run out of ammo. This isn't good. Oh, only one. Come on. Well, I tried. Ein 
Ooh, nice trade. So, those are the HE111s. As you can see, they are quite funny. The SC2500 on the HE111 H16 is just... It is very useful, albeit it does feel a bit more inconsistent than, say, the Fab 5000 on the PE8. The H6, meanwhile, the Fritz X is a pretty neat weapon with some really interesting history, but it's very niche. It's... Other than naval battles, I wouldn't say it's that good. So, that's it for today. Feel free to join my Discord, link is in the description. If you have any other ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you next time.